This is a 04 Durango fuel pump. I was having troubles, it would not start the vehicle. So double checking the old one to verify that that was even the problem. And what you could see is we went ahead and just submersed the fuel pump here in a, in a liquid, just water in this case. Just trying to be a little safe, not have flammable. And then out of the outlet, we're just going into a bucket here. So you can see here, as you trace the wires around, you've got two going to the pump. Will you point to that for me? Two going to the pump, and then you got two going to the float switch for your uh, fuel level gauge. So we know that we just need to supply a power and ground to that little electric motor, like we talk about all the time, powers in, grounds out, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, we have figured out in here, our ground is on the left-hand side with the brown wire and our hot coming in from the or to the pump is our one on the far right which is our hot so we're going to use a power probe hooking up our ground to our ground side and then we are hooked up to an external 12 volt battery quick thought i wanted to drop here is consider this as polarity sensitive if you hook those wires up backwards the fuel pump would operate backwards. You really want to know the polarity of what you're working with so you can just try to test it in the operation that it would normally function in. Off the bench, we put it on through our hot and we see a green light so we knew, know we do have ground going through. Okay, stop right there. So that means that we have power going in, it's a continuity checker, out that ground wire, back into the power probe, and out of the power probe, we have the wire going back to a ground. So that light being lit, like CJ says, means that we have a good ground. We're always wanting to look for that. We have a complete circuit? Complete circuit, you got it. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up. Okay, and let's see what happens here. Do you hear something? Yes, it is. It's physically trying to run, but there's nothing coming out. Okay, and you can see, Oop, there getting a little bit out of there. A little bit going through now. Okay, this is a fuel injected vehicle, so we know this thing's going to have 50 to 80 psi or something like that. Do you have something else happening there? Do you see where that light is flickering? Mm hmm. Go ahead and take the power probe off. Now just do it in the air. What that shows is the supply voltage that we have available. Now, when you engage that, go ahead and do it on the pump again. That flickering light is not good. That would indicate a bad connection or maybe even under load, poor insulation on the wire. We want a solid red light when doing load testing. Well, CJ, it looks like you replacing your pump was absolutely needed. Keep wrenching. Keep wrenching. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.